Welcome back to San Lawyers to Hell after a brief break. Uh, this is Deep Sea Lab by Ribonucleic Asshat. Uh, probably best not to ask. Uh, it's their first map they've ever released. Not the first map they've made, uh, but the first they've uh, been compelled to release. So uh, hopefully we're in for a fun time. Your mission, destroy the reactor and escape. You can breed underwater thanks to your suit. Do not fail or Earth is doomed. All right, so we're starting off in this uh, little personal submarine here. Uh, here we go. Um, and now, am I supposed to jump? Am I allowed to jump? I don't, I don't really need to. Good. This, uh, oh, I seem to have surfaced in a paddling pool. Oh, well, this, this, this music's a bit ravey, isn't it? We're, we're here to break up the demon's party. One on the left, one on the right, one down the middle. Okay. Look, I love this uh, little carpet here. Probably uh, not a good idea to have a carpet coming up from a pool area, but it's great detail, and I, l I love the stairs going up to the pillars. That's... Whoa! What are you? Okay, so uh, this is not going to be just standard monsters, either. Uh, the hexagon effect there, cutting out the bits of the floors that are aligned with the grid. It's, uh, you know, it might be cheesy these days, but I, I still love it. All right. Uh, so we've got uh, a bit of a choice of where to go here. There's a red door, which we can't get into yet. There's that one over there, and there's... Oh, no, is that the exit? Okay, so eventually we're going to be heading down there. Always uh, just check the locks. Just to be polite in my testing. All right, so it looks like uh, we're being railroaded to... Whoa! Down to here. Oh, look at that. I love the... Um, I love the effect with the lights on the walls and the coloured lighting. That's good. Does that use... Uh, I'm, I'm trying to work out if this uses dynamic lights at all, or if this is all just sector-based. Yeah, that's great. Okay. So I'm just going to try to get into a vantage point here. Oh yeah, and maybe uh, have them at least do some damage to each other before I have to spend my shells. This is great. Look at the uh, lights up there. They're, uh, they're all uh, bumped out. It's not just one uh, surface up there. I tried mapping for vanilla recently, and uh, <laughs> all I can think now is, wow, that's going to kill your viz planes. Um, but fortunately, we don't need to worry about that, because we've got GZ Doom. And no headaches as a result. So is this a switch that's going to be an airlock? Whoa, it is! That's a bit of scripting. Oh, and the sound as well. There's, um... I think that's another property you can do in GZ Doom. The, uh... Sound zone, or whatever you call it. Oh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Brief tea break while my computer decided to, uh, do an autosave. Um, saves me from uh, having to be put back all the way when I inevitably make a mistake. But it's weird, isn't it, that, uh... This computer has, uh, it's got a GTX 1070, I think, I can't even remember, inside it, and, um, it's, uh, it has two issues with all the games that I play. The first is autosaving in GZ Doom, the second is loading the You Have Found a Secret sound in GZ Doom. And that, that's, that's all it struggles with. Alright, so, uh, yeah, that was our airlock again. Look at the, I, I love this um, changing of environment because uh, you've got this uh, this bit where you're underwater. You've got free movement. Uh, oh, is there a way you can get up here? There is not. Okay. Because if this uh, if this were had more up and down, yeah, like that, this could make for some really interesting uh, combat that isn't just on the ground. When you're having to float around with uh, khaki demons trying to get above them, trying to keep them all in your line of sight. Oh, it's it's uh, Cthulhu. Uh, speaking of khaki demons, where did you come from? Oh dear. Um, yeah, it's it's different because I'm slower than I normally am as well. Whoa, 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 what was that? Oh, the imps are still earthbound. 
Okay, so they did most of the work for me. That's, uh... So that must replace the Baron, because I had Hell Knights before. Okay, then. Um... Look at that. I, lo I love the the sense of decay here. You've used ramps, you've used some cracks in the ceiling. That's great. Okay. This, this room's a bit dull, was my first uh, impression af after coming in, after the interesting ones from before. But then we pull the airlock switch, water goes down, open the door. I said open the door. Thank you. <laughs> I'll do it myself. Um, oh, you know what? I was going to talk about the misaligned textures up here, but maybe that's deliberate, because there's uh, this trim on the stairs, which is a interesting little touch. Maybe that's deliberate, so I'll shut up. Alright, so uh, here's the... Uh, the Probably not the exit, given we've only got 42 out of 190 monsters. Oh, there's more barons. Ah, uh, sorry, Hell Knights. It's important to name them correctly when they're smashing you to bits. It's not much of a challenge when you just have Hell Knights in front of you, uh, blocking the way. It's, it's uh, kind of a time sink, almost. Ah, pistols. Some new armor. Great. I should warn, by the way, that uh, I, I'm not uh, terribly uh, interested in uh, whether the map is difficult enough or not, but uh, if I'm going fairly easily on ultraviolence and uh, not dying all the time, then it might be taken as a sign by the broader Doom community that the map's a bit too easy on ultraviolence. Um, I, I just love these, you know, the, these effects you've done with the walls and the sectors and everything. Uh, we're in a bit of a maze now. Yeah, at least it's a fairly detailed textured one. Look at the, you know, the the channels here and the trim and and this is the best place to fight revenants. Lots of corners, lots of ammunition. It's very generous. Oh, here we go. So are they going to become a? problem throughout the maze. Yes, they are. was a bit surprised that uh, he was set to ambush, because I, I expected them all to start coming for, for me uh, when I picked up the blue key. But yeah, either his uh, line of his little cupboard was set to uh, block sound, or he was set to ambush so that he didn't immediately come for me. Making sure my shell ammunition stays relatively low. Whoa! So I can't just rely on the super shotgun. There we go. Alright, and I am using the uh, edge dot uh, wad that I uh, mentioned before, just to give myself a little bit of an advantage. But yeah, I don't think uh, I would have had any problems so far even without it. I'll be back with you in a minute. Oh, I've got the rocket launcher, don't I? I forgot about that. There we go. Oh! Didn't think you could fire quite so fast. Let's uh, start using this. Okay. And there's the blue door. Okay, but we don't want to go there yet. There we go. Minor miracle of me timing that exactly right. Now that's that's a, a bit more of a challenge there when you poke your nose around the corner and you've uh, got two revenants, one from each end, and uh, the monster isn't just right in front of you. So that's a... Well, that's a secret. Oh, that's a fairly simple one if you ask me, but I'm not complaining. Alright, so this time uh, we really do want to go to the blue door. Oh, look at that! That's an invitation, isn't it? 
nicer phased lighting there where the blinks uh, go on and off and guide you towards the uh, uh, the top of the hill. Um, there could have been a bit more to that maze, honestly. It was a bit flat and samey. Um, might have worked if uh, there were some stairs or d different looking areas. Look at this! I'm, I'm in uh, Portal 2 now! Okay, let's uh, start destroying some sea life. Come on! Oh, sorry, wrong weapon. Oh, that could have gone better, honestly. Three more left to go! Okay, um... There's the BFG. I need to start uh, setting these key binds correctly, honestly. It's an interesting uh, kind of... Whoa! How did you survive that? Oh, God almighty. Sorry, I'm flailing at the keyboard here. Um... Yeah, as I was... Uh, oh, God almighty, this is, uh... Be careful what you wish for, isn't it? Because I said this was a bit easy. Oh. <laughs> uh... Uh, I'll have those, thank you. Ah, I wasted that one. Alright. It's refreshing, honestly, to have an arena fight where I, I have tons of ammunition and can uh, BFG things with impunity. Uh, let's start using some of these rockets. I have a feeling I might have been a bit trigger happy with BFG, but we'll see. We'll see how much uh, in the way of ammunition for it I'm given. I like the fog, by the way, and the uh, portal up there. Um, I don't really often see fog being used very much, especially in the beginner maps, but uh, this gives it a different atmosphere. Alright, so I've done that one, I did maybe that one? No, 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 I haven't done that one, okay. Let's start hitting them with rockets. It's an interesting... Uh, Sprite replacement. Makes the Baron of Hell just a little less uh, samey compared to the Hell Knight. Here we go. Oh no. There's a stompy bastard somewhere around here. I heard him. There he is. There he is. Gonna let him uh, take care of his own fights. Should I pull the other lever and uh, put even more monsters in the fray? Or will that uh, just give me more trouble instead of giving the Cyber Demon more trouble? That's always the problem. Yeah, he's, he's kind of running out of opponents. Okay. Well, sorry. Oops. <laughs> I caught that one fantastically. If, uh, if this were a running into missiles competition, I'd win every time. Oh. Yeah, I might have uh, used my BFG ammunition. Oh, no, 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 no! That was a mistake! I'll just go up here, have a nice save. <laughs> Alright, so any comments I may have made about the difficulty in the past, uh, ignore those. <laughs> Well, at least I've got a little defensible fortress here. There's a chance that I might not die in this big arena fight, which uh, I usually do. Oh, hang on. 
I just stay up here? Can I just keep on shooting that? Yeah, I do have to make sure that no one is coming up those stairs. And uh, I'm going to have to keep an eye on those uh, caca demons. But otherwise, I think I'm okay. That's it. Whoa! Okay, so uh, just as I was about to be finished off by a cyber demon, the uh, core exploded, took all the monsters, and possibly me with it as well. And uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure what this screen means, but uh, that that was a really nice first map. I I, I liked the um, the uh, alternating land and water sections. I think uh, a lot could, more could be done with that water idea, having having a much more vertical space and uh, having the player explore. Uh, almost like Descent, or something like that, uh, where you've suddenly got enemies attacking above and below you and everything like that, so uh, there's great potential there. And, um, yeah, the idea of uh, advancing maps by shooting the core instead of just dodge this cyber demon, hit the switch for the end of the level, is uh, kind of refreshing as well. So that's great! Two more, please!